This is One on One. Steve Adubato here with our good friend Joe Roth, who is the president and CEO of uh, New Jersey Sharing Network. We are here, Joe, for a special event. This is the dedication. You can see outside we'll be taking video of this. Um, this is the Landscape of Life Meditation Garden. Long time coming. Describe what it is and why it matters so much. Well, this is a, a, an effort of the staff of the Sharing Network through their employee giving fund to our New Jersey Sharing Network Foundation. And over time, we had they, they worked together as a committee to find a way to use this money for the purpose of honoring and recognizing donor families, recipients, and staff. And they came up with the idea of this meditation garden, which is just the most wonderful idea because many times we have families, donor families, or recipients who come here and they visit the office and they want a quiet area to sit and reflect. And this is just the place that it's going to do. It has running water, it has beautiful flowers and benches to sit on and, and so forth. And uh, we think it's going to be an amazing addition to this great building that we have already. Let's talk about this a little bit. Uh, the place is filling up. There are so many people that are coming to, to be uh, a part of this dedication. This sharing network is how many years, Joe? 29. It'll be 30 next year. And we've been working with the sharing network uh, in terms of public outreach, public awareness about organ and tissue donation. This day means what for this organization? Well, it's, a, it's another you know, uh, part of our growth of this organization and our recognition of those that have made us successful, the donor families who've given the ultimate, who have the donors who've given the ultimate gift of life. It also recognizes those people who are waiting to, to give them hope for getting a, a transplant and also recognizes those who uh, died uh, while waiting, uh, unfortunately, and couldn't get a transplant. And that's where our job still has fallen short, is saving lives of people on the uh, waiting list. Uh, Why do you say falling short, John? Well, there are still people dying while waiting for an organ, and our job is to try and eliminate all the deaths on the waiting list. And we hope, we're, we're making progress on that. As you may know, remember, last year was one of our best years in history. We had a 37% increase in the number of transplanted organs. Uh, in 29 years, we never had done that much. So we're making progress, but there are still people who just aren't getting the organ in time, and they do pass away before that happens. And so our goal is to eliminate the deaths on the waiting list. Talk about uh, some of the folks who will be out here today. We're looking at some of the people who are part of building this extraordinary uh, meditation garden. And, you, and by the way, real quick, the design of it, there's a Rutgers student who I think is going to be with us today as part of her master's thesis, design this garden. Talk about that. Uh, she was in the Landscape Architecture School. Her name is Muzi Lee. Uh, she put together the concept uh, uh, on her own and, you know, with input from us. But this is all the project, you know, it's a New Jersey homegrown uh, effort. And she did a wonderful job. When, when you see this place, it, the, 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 it flows so nicely and the plants just match and it's all perennials. So it's it's going to take low maintenance, and it's uh, just a beautiful, beautiful garden. It feels good when you walk in it. It's unbelievable. And some of the folks who will be here, this is dedicated. This is for all those who have given so much. They have given the gift of life, as been said. There's a lot of cliches out there today, folks. That is not a cliche by any means. We're going to be talking to people um, today, surviving family members of children as young as 2, 14, 16, older, people who gave the gift of life by being organ and tissue donors, their families will be meditating out there. It's to honor them, but also to those who received the gift of life. What is it for them, Joe? Well, for them, it's also a way of uh, recognizing that um, somebody unfortunately had to give up the ultimate gift of passing away to make an organ available for them to survive, but it's their way of showing appreciation for that gift. Uh, the, the recipients who are volunteers for this organization have been intimately involved in the creation of this uh, beautiful garden for everyone to use for the purposes of meditation and thought and helping uh, bring closure to grief and so on. So today we're going to have uh, a mix of people, as you mentioned. We're going to have um, donor families who will be represented. We'll have recipients who will be represented. We have people who are waiting who will be here. 
Uh, we'll have waiting for organs. For organs, waiting for organs. Uh, we'll have people here who have had, uh, like the chairman of my board, uh, Bruce Goldstein, is a heart recipient. He will will be here. We'll have members of the foundation board on also. So it'll be a great mix of the family of the sharing network, which would be a wonderful afternoon for us too to celebrate the completion of this garden. Final question. We're taping this uh, in the heat of summer, going into August 2016. Pretty hot outside, and um, I won't make this political at all. I'll just say that in our country today, there's a lot of strife, a lot of division, a lot of um, a lot of people who think it's very difficult, if not impossible, for people to come together. So I would be remiss if I didn't ask you or, or say to you, Joe, that every time we're together, there's this incredible feeling of unity and people are fighting for, working for one thing, giving the gift of life. Um, am I making too much of that? No, you're not at all. If, if the thing about our organization are our core values, uh, we have dedicated, eager, compassionate, resourceful and team focused people. And they all work together to make the mission happen, saving and enhancing lives. And our staff are the most wonderful staff I could put up against any any organization in the country. So in this organization, unity is one of the key aspects of our our mission and our culture here. So nobody asks what party you you uh, you you're voting for or against, right? Uh, yeah, I'm an uh, eclectic <laughs> pragmatist, is what I. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for everything you do and your colleagues at the. The Sharing Network, and today's a big day, right? Right, and thank you for all you do, Steve, and your, your organization. We really appreciate the partnership we've had with, with you, too. So thank you very much. We do the easy part. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Steve. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato at NJIT has been provided by NJIT. Investors Bank, Verizon, Prudential Financials Global Communications Department, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, RWJ Barnabas Health, and by the Northward Center. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato at NJIT has been produced in cooperation with Fios One News.